What's up everyone? Today is Monday, July 13th at 8.16 a.m. Going to do a video watch this today. So a couple things to make note of is it's Monday, guys. Everyone has FOMO over the weekend. Everyone's excited to trade. We got a lot of fucking crazy runners again. Uh, so the key, as always, is to let the stocks extend pre-market. Let them form their charts and we will attack when the top is set. The fastest way to get fucked up in this market on the short side is to be shorting these stocks very early pre-market. We have stocks that are up 200%, 300%, 400%. It doesn't matter if they go down one or two dollars in pre-market because they're gonna go down five dollars at the open. So please use this advice to stay calm, be patient, and remember that your goal as a trader is to trade when there is an edge, not just because you are at the desk. So let's start, WIMI, this easy to borrow stock that we mentioned to avoid, did a perfect zombie move and just went straight up to heaven, right? Early pre-market, it blew up everyone that held overnight, went from 19 to fucking 38 and now back down to reality. This is the type of stock that could wash out under 20 and go back to 30 if it really wants. This is the type of stock that is above my pay grade. This is the type of stock that is for the experts only. I know what ball game I'm a part of, and that's the type of stock that I don't wanna mess around with. It is too risky, and it's just not my cup of tea. I don't wanna fucking go bald, I don't wanna get white hair, I don't wanna be stressed, not, not for me, long or short, avoid. EQ, uh, this is an easy to borrow stock, right? So WIMI was easy to borrow last week as well, this is easy to borrow too. So I mean, if I just wanna keep this very simple, right? If I wanna keep it very simple, 1250 line, right? Probably 12 line, 1150, 11, and 1050, right? So I'm using the whole and half dollar marks only on EQ. So in a perfect world, this EQ washes out under 10, bounces 1050, 11, 1150, 12, 1250, whatever, I'm gonna scale, and then my stop obviously is gonna be high the day. So this is the type of stock that I want to nail and bail only. I don't want to stay around long on this because it's an easy to borrow stock. Ecor, very similar. This is a potential hot chick of the day. Let it extend pre-market. Let it show its trend. If it gets pumped, let it get pumped. All we're doing is we're waiting for this to tank and then we will short the bounce. The bigger the tank is, uh, the less powerful the bounce will be. BOXL. BOXL, this is a former runner, uh, kind of likes to push and fail. As you can see, pre-market, it already kind of topped out. Again, guys, I am not looking to make fucking $10,000 today. I'm just, well, I'm just looking to show up to the market, take my trades and walk away. This is the type of trade that I'm gonna look to short the 150 line, 160 line, 170 line, and stop out around 175. This is gonna be my top watch, hopefully. WKHS um, had a price upgrade today, I guess. Uh, I mean, if we look at the resistance, you can see that 16 line and 1650 are the levels to watch. So I'm gonna be watching 16 and 1650 to short. PSV, this is a broken chart. Again, very simple, 190, $2 hold dollar mark and 210. So, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward day, guys. As long as we stay safe, as long as we avoid the hot chicks of the day, we will be fine. Again. EQ is easy to borrow, so do not be fooled if it washes out to seven and thinking it's gonna to go to five. This has the ability to rebound. WIMI, shorts are stuck. This has the ability to rebound. Look for the broken stocks. BOXL is broken, WKHS is broken. Look for the broken stocks and short the pop, guys. Um, so that's it. Uh, at the end of these videos, I do a secret word to make sure that everyone is watching till the end. Today's secret word is gonna be Monday. So that's it, guys. I will see you guys in the room. And that's it.